As we navigate through adulthood, handling our finances can be quite challenging. It goes beyond simple budgeting and saving. There are numerous factors at play. Economic downturns, like recessions, can significantly impact personal finance, leading to immense stress for many individuals. It's natural to feel as though we are struggling to keep up. Yet, in the face of such uncertainty, gaining a deeper understanding and context through the latest financial data can be tremendously beneficial. Welcome to MoneyWise Investor, your trusted source for financial information. Are you prepared to discover how you might measure up against the average? Get ready for some eye-opening information. We are going to unveil the alarming financial statistics that will leave you astonished and determined to take control of your financial future. Let's dive into the numbers together. It's quite astonishing to learn that a significant portion of Americans, about 40%, lack sufficient funds to handle a $400 emergency situation. Take a moment to reflect on your own financial situation. How much do you have saved up for emergencies or unexpected expenses? This unfortunate reality is faced by many individuals across the country. If we increase the emergency expense to $1,000, the percentage of unprepared people rises even further, reaching 61%. Now, why is this such a big deal? Well, savings play a crucial role in maintaining financial stability. They act as a safety net when life throws unexpected challenges our way, whether it's a sudden medical expense, a car repair, or even a job loss. Having savings make all the difference in how well we can weather those storms. Additionally, it's worth mentioning that financial emergencies are not uncommon occurrences. In fact, according to CNBC, a notable 34% of Americans experienced a major financial emergency in the past year. These figures underscore the urgent need for improved financial stability and preparedness in our society. This leads us to the next stat, which certainly won't make you feel better. Financial literacy rates in America are on the decline. Many people are navigating the complex world of personal finance without a solid understanding of crucial concepts. You might assume that people with the abundance of easily accessible information available to the average American, people would have a better grasp of personal finance. Unfortunately, that assumption would be incorrect. Every three years, FINRA, the prominent financial regulator in the United States, conducts surveys on the population, and their findings are not in any way encouraging. Now, what happens when you combine a substantial amount of debt with an individual who lacks a solid understanding of how to manage and repay it? Now you see, it will result to a devastating situation. So, why is financial education so important? First and foremost, financial education equips you with the necessary skills to make sound financial decisions. It teaches you how to create a budget, track your expenses, and save effectively. It gives you the knowledge to understand complex financial products and make informed choices about investments, loans, and insurance. Financial education empowers you to take control of your financial destiny and build a solid foundation for your future. But where can you find the resources to expand your financial knowledge? Fortunately, there's a wealth of information available at your fingertips. Online platforms, books, podcasts, and even local workshops offer a treasure trove of financial education resources. You can start by exploring reputable websites that provide comprehensive guides on various financial topics. Join online communities where you can connect with like-minded individuals and learn from their experiences. Seek out books written by experts in personal finance, investing, and budgeting. And don't forget to tune in to informative podcasts that break down complex financial concepts into relatable and actionable advice. Remember, financial education is a lifelong journey. Take advantage of the resources available to you and commit to continuous learning. The more you invest in your financial education, the more confident and capable you'll become in managing your money. Now, let's talk about a financial dilemma that affects millions of people, the debt trap. Did you know that Americans are carrying a significant burden when it comes to their financial obligations? The collective educational debt in the country surpasses a staggering $1.2 trillion. On average, each individual is burdened with a student loan of approximately $29,000. In addition to this, car loans have reached an all-time high, exceeding $30,000. Consequently, the average monthly payment for these loans has skyrocketed. 
surpassing the $500 mark. Considering the substantial debts faced by the average American, it's not surprising that many individuals resort to relying on their credit cards as a means of managing their expenses. Credit cards, however, add another layer of financial strain. The average American carries a credit card balance of more than $15,000. To put things into perspective, there are over 1.4 billion open credit cards in the United States alone, indicating the widespread dependence on this form of credit. The weight of these financial burdens is undeniably substantial, leaving many individuals feeling overwhelmed and burdened by their financial circumstances. It's no wonder that people sometimes exclaim, oy vey, to express their frustration and concern. But what exactly is the debt trap? The debt trap is a situation where individuals find themselves trapped in a cycle of borrowing and struggling to repay their debts. It often starts innocently enough with a credit card purchase or a student loan, but if not managed properly, it can quickly spiral out of control. Now, you might be wondering, what are the consequences of excessive debt on your financial well-being? Well, first and foremost, it limits your financial freedom. Instead of being able to save and invest for the future, a significant portion of your income goes towards debt repayments. It's like being stuck in quicksand, unable to move forward and build a solid financial foundation. Think about it. If a large chunk of your paycheck is going towards paying off debts, how can you save for emergencies or invest in your future goals? It becomes a constant struggle just to stay afloat, and the stress can take a toll on your overall well-being. But fear not because we're here to help you break free from the clutches of debt. Let's discuss some strategies for managing and reducing your debt effectively. It all starts with facing the reality of your debt situation. Take a moment to gather all your statements, credit card bills, and loan documents. Calculate the total amount of debt you owe. It might be a tough pill to swallow, but it's essential to have a clear picture of where you stand. Now, prioritize your debts. Identify which debts have the highest interest rates, and focus on paying those off first. This approach, known as the debt avalanche method, can save you a significant amount of money in interest payments over time. Another strategy to consider is the snowball method. This involves paying off the smallest debt first, regardless of the interest rate. By tackling small debts first, you'll experience a sense of accomplishment and motivation to keep going. You might also want to explore debt consolidation options. This involves combining multiple debts into one usually with a lower interest rate. It can simplify your repayment process and potentially save you money in interest charges. By implementing these strategies and staying committed to your financial goals, you can break free from the debt trap and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Now that we've tackled the debt trap, let's move on to another crucial aspect of personal finance, preparing for retirement. You won't want to miss this. Did you know that a significant number of people are not adequately prepared for their golden years? It's a harsh reality. But studies reveal that a significant portion of Americans, specifically 58%, are actively engaged in saving for their retirement. This means that there remains a sizable portion, amounting to 42% of individuals in the United States, who have not yet started saving for their future. Additionally, among the 58% who are saving, it is noteworthy that only a mere 1 in 10 individuals are putting aside a substantial portion of their income, specifically 15% or more, for their retirement. While these figures may seem like a barrage of numerical data, the bottom line remains abundantly clear. A relatively small number of people are currently setting aside sufficient funds to ensure a comfortable and secure life during their retirement years. Now, you might be wondering, what are the implications of not planning for retirement adequately? Well, picture this. You've reached your retirement age, but you haven't saved enough to maintain your desired lifestyle. You may have to rely solely on a meager pension or social security benefits, which might not be enough to cover your expenses. The dream of traveling, pursuing hobbies, or simply enjoying a comfortable retirement could be out of reach. Remember, we don't want these statistics to leave you feeling disheartened or overwhelmed. Instead, let them serve as a wake-up call, a catalyst for change. Armed with this newfound awareness, you have the power to transform your financial future. Thank you for joining us on this eye-opening adventure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos packed with valuable insights and tips. Until next time, stay money-wise.